Hey guys, hey guys, my name is Daniel, or Zombie Hunter. Um, I just want to let you know, I've started a recruiting process with the National Guard. This is my third time trying to get recruited. Um, I was inspired by another YouTuber. Um, I'll link her channel down in the comments, or in the description. I don't know her name off the top of my head. Um... But she and I both have very similar situations in the way that we were both um, trying to join the military with um, self-harm scars. I did it about four or five years ago. When I was in high school, I regret it to this day. Um, so yeah, my story in recruiting goes back about two years ago. Um, I've always wanted to join the military since I was like 10, um, or at least have a passion for it. Um, I tried joining the army with a recruiter. Um, he was like, yeah, let's go. And I was like, yeah, let's go. Um, I, at the, at the time, I did not realize that my scars were going to prevent me from going. At least I had to get a waiver, which I found out later the hard way. Um, and so we went down, I was about to go to MEPS, um, the military processing, military enlistment processing system or station, um, and get, do the ASVAB. Um, I had studied, I was studying and then I took a practice ASVAB in the recruiter's office and realized I qualify for the Coast Guard and, uh, Air Force and all the other branches because the Coast Guard has the highest requirements. And so I talked to my parents and I was almost graduated high school. I was a senior, so I wasn't quite there yet. Um, and then I went, I realized that, so I applied for the Coast Guard. Um, I never went down to MEPS completely. Um, I took the test and the scores were put in late so they weren't able to get me processed. And I didn't have time to just wait around the whole day and take the ASVAB. So I I applied for the Coast Guard and I filled out their, um, their application and their medical forms, which they automatically sent me, which I found kind of odd. Um, and on the part of it, it said, you know, have you ever self-harmed or have you have scars or hurt yourself? And I had a mark, yes. My scars are very obvious on my arm and my thighs. So if I were to do a full physical um, which I had an idea of what maps was going to look like. So I knew I have to be honest up front. Um, and so I said, yes. And they went, reviewed it. And immediately the next day, I remember to this day, they basically sent me an email saying, you cannot join the military because of your self-harm. And it was right before work. And I was devastated. I was like, the worst thing that could happen has already happened. I don't care, I could get fired and I still wouldn't, it wouldn't be anywhere near what um, this was. So I told my recruiter in the army after um, kind of going through that um, motion and he his reaction to me joining, applying for the Coast Guard was like, no, like you messed up. You're not, you know, he did not like me applying for the Coast Guard, which I suggest looking into other branches, because if one doesn't have what you need, maybe another one has what you need. Um, and so, basically, I, I eventually did a lot of research into it and found out, surprisingly, self-harm and the scars and people trying to join the military, it's very common. Um, I have a teacher or a leader in my church who had to join the, who joined the Marines and had to get three waivers um, for different medical issues. Um, one semi similar to, similar to what I have to deal with. Um, and I'm thinking, I was like, one, I can get a waiver, but also I have a friend who has joined the Marines and has had three waivers and I'm trying to get one. So that got me thinking. And I went over, a, I called my recruiter or text my recruiter. I was like, hey, you know, can I still join? You know, I've got scars. And he was like, wait, you did not tell me that. You know, you're supposed to tell me that. Blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, I didn't know. 
And I, the last thing I texted him, I was like, hey, can I get a waiver for this? And he, to this day, has not responded. Um, obviously, because there's a lot of paperwork. Um, so that was basically my dream of the military in a nutshell. I was like, at the end of that, I was like, all right, forget the military. You know, it's obviously not time for me. Um, and then fast forward a year, I tried joining the Air Force and then COVID vaccine was required, which I wasn't going to take. I still don't even know about it. Um, and so I was like, yeah, I'm not joining right now. Fast forward another year till now. Um, and this is to everybody who has trying to join the military with any sort of medical issues or something like that. I was doing a, at a job um, at a courthouse and one of the guys who was a who was there was a former military recruiter. Somehow I struck up that I wanted to join the military and I had a medical issue and things like that. And he told me, which I'm gonna verify tomorrow, um, that the recruiter, re the recruiter cannot say no to a medical document. It's only the head, um, head like general doctor, like the head doctor of MEPS is the one who can say, give the final yes or no. Um, if he says no, you can try shoving it up the chain of command and maybe get them to rethink it. Um, but he's the one, the head, the doctor's the one who can say yes or no, not the, not the recruiter. So to anybody who's has like asthma or any sort of medical issues that they're trying to get a waiver for, and even if it's not medical, it's, you know, I don't, whatever your age or something, don't let the recruiter stop you. Um, that If that recruiter doesn't want to work with you, go find another one. Um, I don't know where you guys are. I know I've got several recruiting stations in my area. Um, I live in Tennessee. Um, I know there's one up in Franklin. There's one in Nashville. There's one all over. Go, if you have one available, another one, go to another one, get another recruiter. If that one doesn't do anything, you know, is saying the same thing, but you know you can do something else. Be honest, like, I know what you guys can do, can and cannot do. Look into it, call friends and family who have maybe served um, to get an understanding of, you know, what all they can do and what all they cannot do. Um, I'm currently waiting on a co-worker, so I think he might be here. Um, but yeah, that's currently what I'm going through. Um, I've talked to the National Guard recruiter. He's like all for it. He seems like a really great guy. Um, and so that's currently my, my situation. I'll link the, the other ladies, um, uh, her YouTube channel in the, um, description. I don't want to spoil it. I'll just say it's, she did a really good job. She had some ups and downs. Um, if the recruiter is giving you some sort of baloney on something or excuse, find another recruiter. Um, and honestly, guys, if you're dealing with the same exact situation, whether it be self-harm or, I don't know, you smoked and you've got asthma, be honest up front because it's to cover your back. And when you get to MEPS and they check your lungs and you've got asthma or they check your arm and you've got a cut, don't lie about it. Just be straight up honest because a lot of recruiters are going to tell you, hey, just lie about it. Why? Because there's a crap ton of paperwork for they have to do and they don't want to do it. I know they don't want to do it. I wouldn't want to do it, especially when I can just get some other high schooler that um, wants to join and it's, they can be in the military in less than a month versus someone who I've got to do a bunch of paperwork and that might be six months until I meet my numbers. Um, and also right now, I know the recruiters, um, at least their stats, they're down like 15% on their numbers. So if you want to go and you've been told no in the past and you haven't gone to MEPS and been told no, retry. And even if you've gone to MEPS and you've been told no, you can always retry just with another branch. Um, don't try like day to day to day, um, but give it some time and then retry. If it's something that you really wanna do, don't let it stop you. Study on the ASVAB, get very fit because the higher score you have on the ASVAB, the better the chances they're gonna look over and be like, 
yeah, this guy's got this issue that he dealt with six years ago, but he scored a 98, which is like, really, it's the highest you can score out of a 99. Why not accept them? We need, they need people like that. And they're going to take people like that. So study, study, work your best. Um, I'll let you guys know how it's going with this process. Um, just reviewing the comments on the, the other, um, I think it's her, her YouTube channel is Late Night Yaz. Y-A-Z-Z, -Z, I believe. Um, so shout out to her. She's been a big inspiration to me. Um, really just to try again check her out um give her a like and a sub she deserves it she's worked really hard um obviously you guys you know do what you want to do with my channel i don't really care um i just want to let people know that they're not alone um and so yeah thank you for watching my little video um i'm going to the recruiters today um after work and talking to them about um I'm giving him my medical documents. And also when, when I went to him, he was all automatically like, all right, let's get this form in. Let's get it done. Let's get it started. Um, and so I was really excited about that. And even if, if the recruiter doesn't, you know, let you go, whether he tells you some sort of lie, like I've been told, that might mean he's just, you're just not ready for that time. Whether it be you're almost fresh out of high school, there, there, you may need to get, um, some some experience under your belt you might need to get a trade go to college for a few years get that education you need so when you leave the military whether it be active duty reserve or whatever you've got that experience on your belt so when you go into a civilian life you're not stuck as um like fresh out of high school you're not a fresh out of high school person with military experience you've got whether it be a trade i'm currently working at hvac um and so i've got that under my belt a little bit so I can, when I leave, um, I can be like, hey, I used to work with this company for this long, or maybe even I might be able to, after basic, um, go back to their company because I'm planning on doing National Guard part-time and doing this job as a full-time job. So if y'all if you'll have any ideas or any questions, please let me know in the comments. Um, I mean, don't be afraid. You know, if it's a dream of yours, keep doing it don't let anybody stop you um and also guys don't let the past de define you when even though just because you you went through a hard place in your life or you used to do some stupid stuff when you were young that doesn't mean i'm in a parking lot and i don't know why that car is going off um just because that happens doesn't mean that should define you and stop you from creating your goals so thank you for um listening um I'll keep you guys posted tomorrow or later today. Um, so, yeah, thank you. Bye.